Okay, we're back, folks. So this is the second video on uh, this jackrabbit, this black-tailed jackrabbit that we harvested this morning here in the southern Arizona desert. Um, I described earlier how you get the back straps off, and if you can see now, uh, you can see that area in the ribs there. You're basically taking the meat off the backbone and down to the ribs. You can see that on both sides. And then, of course, one of the hindquarters is off, and I wanted to kind of show you uh, up close here, that's the the ball socket for the hip joint. I apologize, I'm kind of filming into the sun here right now. But if you kind of take a look at that, that hip joint ball and socket falls away. You take the hind quarter off. I'm going to do the the second one in just a moment. But there's so much meat on here. This is a gallon Ziploc bag, and as you can see, what I have here on the top of those two back straps, you can see there's. I get my shadow out of the way, pretty good size. Um, strips of meat, and then that is a nice uh, hind quarter right there that, you know, it's like a giant butterfly pork chop almost. And you can see where I've clipped off the uh, the bone there at the end. That's the sharp, sharp part that in the past is, uh, has um, wounded me terribly. But uh, I just have used these, these clippers here to, clip that bone. I'm going to do the same thing with the other hind quarter. We'll pack it up in a gallon Ziploc bag and that'll go in the freezer for a meal to be determined later. Either Hank Shaw's Sardinian hare stew or we'll grind up the meat and mix it with pork and have some good ground meat. Well that'll do it from the desert here in Tucson. Um, I always like to kind of fiddle around with my shadow. I guess it makes me feel very imposing. But In any event, Good amount of meat from one jackrabbit. You can go out jackrabbit hunting for two, three hours and maybe get two to four jackrabbits and you've got uh, some pretty good meat and a darn good hike and some, uh, as you can see, remarkably beautiful surroundings here in the southern Arizona desert. Choya cactus, paddle cactus, prickly pear, mesquite trees. Choya is in various state of life and death. And uh, back to this mesquite tree, which I forgot to mention, it's far easier to string these things up and stand there and do this cleaning these rabbits than it is to be on your hands and knees on the ground. I've learned that the hard way, so that'll do it.